Okay, thank you very much. I think your playing is very clear and, and it, pianistically it's, it's very, very high level already. So this sonata is called Las, Das Lebewohl, mm. and as you know, the story behind it that when it was composed, there was a war between France and Austria, and the emperor had to leave Vienna because the troops were coming closer. And, and that's, that's, of course, the sort of evident story that can be said because Beethoven wrote it down. But I think that this, this music is dealing with many other things as well. I think if you think of the psychological aspect of it, of course, there is a, of the movements are, you know, the Slebewohl and then the Abwesenheit and then Wiedersehen. So being away and coming back and how Beethoven treats this subject and topic is, is really very unique. Yeah. If, if you look at this music as a sort of structure, harmonic structure. Yeah. So he's, he's very, very clear in his intentions, how, what he wants out of this story. So what is your feeling when you, when you hear a sort of tragic news that you are, you are losing or you, you lost something? You, there's a loss. What, how, how is your feeling after that? Can you describe it? Usually, I, I, at first, I don't know what I should feel. It, yeah, it's yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. just empty. I don't, yeah, I don't know how yeah. to describe it. So maybe there are possibilities to describe it that you, you don't accept it at all first. You sort yeah, of deny may, it. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So I'm, I'm just uh, saying it because here we have this uh, fanfare. That is, if you hear only the right hand, I don't think you think C as a base to that. But you think right. So I think that the sort of interrupted beginning with this means that this is a sort of, I don't accept this. I don't accept this is what we are looking for, but what we get is the C. And now when we start to talk about it, the C in this piece mm. is, has a very crucial meaning. I will show it later. And the drama comes around the C note. And then another note that is C flat. So we have like two notes that create a drama there. And that's somehow what you can follow. I mean, you play very well. And of course, we play the music. There's a lot of things happening in the surface. But in the very, mm. uh, let's say, in the deep level, the, procession is, is very, very sort of inevitable and uh, very well planned, as, is, as it always is in Beethoven's case. And in and this time also, he wrote a lot of E flat major music that's basically quite heroic key for Beethoven. If you think of the Emperor Concerto number five, it's written about the same time. Or the string quartet uh, of 74, the so-called harp number 10, E flat major also. Well, the harp quartet is, is a little bit different in character, but uh, I mean, compared to Emperor Concerto or, or even this in the, in the finale, but, but still there is a network that is around this piece. So let's, let's start to do it. First, first of all, you played very well. And actually, I think you should not delay too much to see, and you did not, but somehow try to find the feeling of that there's immediately of, it's totally different from, what you would play in E flat. And then you start to build up. And I think that here you could give a little bit more freedom to this. Now st I stop here. Beethoven goes. Can you think of any other option you could go from this harmonically? What direction? What is the other thing you could resolve this? Code or is it a here it's like augmented sixth yeah. but but you could also resolve it right mm -hmm. so the tragic comes out if you really I would I play it once for you so that I, I make the a different resolution when you go if you bet off and go here you have still option something like So it's like a consolation, but Beethoven goes straight into drama. 
and that gives a specific meaning to that. Can you maybe try now from beginning once? Yeah. Let's go. So one thing, one, once more, when you get to the C, I wouldn't accent this very much, but still continue the same. And then, then open, if you, if you, too early, but let's go on now. Now here, and then you have a lot of optimism, hope here. So there is the denial, denial, and then, okay, maybe, maybe it's not true, maybe everything is all right. So feel that everything is all right. It's the fluctuation of emotions here. You have the denial, dra drama, tragic, and then in all of a sudden you have a, he writes a sforzato there and blast diminuendo. And then we have the fanfare with this chord, diminished feeling, and then another surprise. Let's go once more from the last, Yes. Yes. Good. Yeah. Great. And now we are in it's with C flat. Sort of cut cadence. So this, think of what Beethoven. You know Emperor Concerto, I'm sure. What Beethoven does with that second movement and same key. So the sixth grade uh, in the B, uh, C flat, and and how he treats it in that Emperor. It's it's wonderful. So the feeling here, because they are connected. I think you should somehow reach the feeling of Emperor second movement. That moment, it's only a short moment, but it's, it's reflecting the same ethos, same idea that we had in, so feel that this is a consolation. I mean, he didn't want to make a consolation in the beginning with the D flat, but, but, or A flat major actually, but now he is doing it. And then again, and one thing, I would not accent the accent this so much, but this, if you, if you play an accent here, then you get very easily double accent. And that doesn't sound very nice. I mean, you don't play that badly. <laughs> so let's go once more from... Good. And stay in that world. Don't rush. Yes. not to make a crescendo here, I think, because he starts. And then there's a, this small hairpin. Yeah. It's, it's still going down to C flat and G sharp minor. And then, then from that, I think you have to be very detailed in this mm. because it's, it's very important what you have here the harmonically. It, it's reflected later then. Mm. Let's go once more, the, if you can, maybe straight from once more the same and then go. Very good. 
I, I really enjoyed it a lot. I think here you can have more courage too. It's emotions, you know, what you have here. Always when he writes these small hairpins, I think you have to react. It's, it's a little bit maybe, maybe agitated. But otherwise it was very fine. So maybe we can go on now. We are expecting interesting things coming. And then when you start... And this is in piano, be careful. But here you have a huge... So this doesn't really sound like a Lebewohl or no, Lezatia. It sounds like a, something uh, very sort of happy life in, in a way. But so, so we, we have to think of, uh, again, this in this axis of, you know, denial and uh, what is the fact and what we think, what we try to hide somehow. But here, here you really can enjoy this joyful feeling. There's a capriccio by Bach that has similar kind of to Hans Sebastian Bach, a similar kind of strategy. Let's do this, this once more, this, and then go on. sitting on the wrong side, so I'm not, I don't know how it sounds exactly there, but I think you can give much more. And also here, the tenuti, I mean, he writes the tenuto. You can a little bit take out of the... And then I would really... Because the crescendo starts here, this is still... Then you get a lot, a lot of crescendo there. So let's go once more. And then big, big again. Yeah, yeah. So don't have any. You can you can go with 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 your with the wing actually with the take and then piano after the second one is still for the piano. Uh, last time maybe you can play straight from. Congratulations, you played that. I was sort of prepared to, to stop here to teach you this, but you played so well. The very, very, very difficult place. That I'm happy for you. Here, when you now it's this is easier to play, but I think you can see very clearly how Beethoven characterizes this. First, we have this, then we have a G natural, and then he changes, and then there is even dot. I think. I would dance it out somehow. I mean, I, I, you, don't, you don't have to look like this, but, I did. but, but change your character more, because it's too, for me it's a little bit serious how you play it. Of course, these are questioning. And then it, the answer is sort of... And then this is fun, really. Can you play straight from... After the dance, you are going to sing here. Give, give more time. You are a little bit too straightforward, in, in my opinion. In, maybe it's a matter of taste, but I think you should, you should somehow, because now we are coming to the so called second theme, if we can say that it's a second theme here. And we have again the Lebe ball here. And then it, it's sort of resolving it. Now, but it's of course it's not resolved because we are not in the wrong key. We are not in the main key. We need to have this E flat in the end. Then dance, dance, and cantab. 
Kabilir. Yeah, and you need, need it's expressivo and a very long note, and we are in trouble with the so short uh, notes here, short attacks. So we have to do everything to, to get this thing, and it's very tricky. So in other words, I think you have to leave, play this very softly, and then this. Here we have this. So can you play once more? Uh, it was much better now, the cantabile. Maybe you can play somewhere there. of the piece is actually now I can tell it you we are in wrong key but it's actually it's in right key it will come later I will tell you so there's a shadow there and then it's real solid so feel a lot of tension between those can you play straight from I think it's mysterious but still a, Here we have this chromaticism that is very. So it, it really needs to be. It's even more dramatic. It's it's again insisting. I I, I don't believe this. It's it's you know. But then when you get this point, I think molto misterioso. Totally sort of empty. Coming up, this problem, problematicism that I spoke about C and C flat. Let's go on. But I think you need to be more, a little bit more expressive. There's a piano in brackets. I think it's it, it's fine. Let's go straight from. Build it up. Sorry, build it up so that I would I would build it up so that there is no subito for the but. Lead to, uh, into it and then resolve a little bit here, then you get better results musically. I think. Can you try it? Make it make more crescendo, more that. Yes. we are here basically what is happening here what notes are important here C C flat so when we get so-called so recapitulation nothing is actually solved we have the same problematicism going on and that's Beethovenian if you play Mozart sonata usually there is something like dominant uh, feeling and then we saw, okay we have a back home again we are back home again but we still have the problem going so so there must be a feeling of, of great expectations with the, when you and, and think of that that these notes are the most important notes they are I would really put 
puts it in the bass line, so that's very heavy. Because what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to go, we are supposed to go to E flat, but he's, he's still playing game, creating. It's a very odd feeling here, because normally we should feel that we are safe. Give yourself a permission to wander around a little bit. It's almost like dying away, but then you know, all of a sudden... We really have to try to somehow get emotionally very involved with these uh, feelings of loss and denial and then acceptance that comes in the end. Let's go once more these... You can start straight from... If you can... a little bit down and the, the hesitating and then We are accepting it, the fact. We are getting the, the basic. So now, what where Beethoven starts to resolve the problem of C flat is now in the second theme, of course. When when there is this very when you play this, so starts to resolve the feeling the C flat toward E, and actually, indeed, here he does it the last time. I played with in faster tempo to save time. And this is the last time we have... Um, so now we, we get the perfect going with that. So he has postponed it all the way from here, or maybe even from here. It's never resolved totally, but here he resolves it. What is this? What we had in the beginning is the same, only inverted. And now you see the C is only appoggiatura for. So the C that is dramatic in the beginning, in the end, it's only. And then the final key. So actually, in the end, you, we are aiming at. And the resol resolution is. But in the beginning, we don't know it, because Beethoven creates the drama. 
with the sea, and the sea flat is now treated in, in that. So, so that's something that when you read this, you should have really relaxed feeling of, okay, everything is all right here. Maybe a little bit more legato in the melody, yes. anymore maybe so active it's looking back a little bit so you don't need to maybe maybe not that much think of more this is a good buy really so let's go and run I think that you had the character, so I would play. Let's go straight from the. It also makes sense better when Rice crescendo here because now the C is so strongly going down. So he, he because it, it may sound why he did it, but I think he has a reason from the beginning. So we should have a feeling of it aims to this, even though we don't know it here. But here we know it. And then let's go on, second, third movement a little bit, please.
the second movement. In the second movement, it's problematic. It's an andante espressivo, and the beginning is adagio. But actually, there are four different metronome markings from the early Beethoven editions, and the tempo is the same in adagio and andante espressivo. I, I think your tempo is fine. I mean, it's the same tempo. There, there are as two of them are by Czerny, and two are, um, but the tempi are very, very sort of close of each other, so, so we can somehow have conclusions about how, what, how to treat it. So the tempo here is the same as here. The one thing what, I, what I'm a little bit missing is the, let's say, so that it's, it's going. I, I feel that it's a little bit static. I think this is sort of like a shout. 
It's a gesture that if you play too laconically, I think it, it's difficult to... So I would, I would activate a little bit this in order to get the, the character, because now it's, for me it's too static. Another. It's like calling, you know. And then there is a reaction to that. But no resolution. Interestingly enough, again, we had a B natural, C flat. In it. the same. Of course, we are starting in the C minor, but it's maybe going to G, G minor is the ma main key, but we are starting. So I think that this is very exciting. Slow but going. Different. And again here, as we spoke, no accent at the beginning, but let's start a little bit again. hope, optimism coming in all of it is very, very good. I, I enjoyed it. I think you have to start, try to find this kind of espressivo and you found it now after maybe my presence, but, but it's just, just, you know, I, I encourage you a lot to, to go into that, that world. Now, really very warm string, but immediately there's a problem there. It's not solved. Go straight from that. Piano molto. Yeah, and you know, it's very good, but this is, is terrible. It's it's really it's like a murder. So somehow project it out. Give, give maybe a little bit weight from the and relaxed, relaxed. But yeah, yeah, not too loud though. But yeah, yes, and then very dark. Subito. Really longing. Actually, and in the beginning, we are aiming at G minor, and now we get G major. So the C, G major here. Must be really something very special. So I think you play a little bit, I mean, you play very well, but I expect to make even more, enjoy it, and then, You can't almost exaggerate. I think you have to go very, very down, and it really, it's very intimate feeling here. Let's do once more. And this is a lot of longing. Can you start from? Really play it expressivo. Let's go straight from, if you can. Leggero here, the first notes, but they are 
They are not so short. I think the left hand is... That's right, but... You have re really have to approach it. Let's go straight, otherwise it's very good. No leggero. Very serious. Basically, then we have the same things coming on. Only here we have like a duetto here now with octave, so you have to make both hands. But let's go a little bit the final. The finale is very good, I think. And here you really have to think it. It's the same music even with this with the Emperor concert. It's really you have to compare it, and you do. Uh, let's go straight from maybe from the going up very very soft, soften it, and then go. This. After a loss, life goes on. Spring is coming, sun is shining, as it's shining here, even in Finland. So we, we must be very happy. I would, I would, you know, think these little bit. They don't have to be so short. Don't be. I mean, they, don't be shy. Express your joy, joy of youth, joy of you know life. Because you play very well. So there's no problem with that. Let's go. You do almost what, and then when you come really all the bells in Vienna are singing of the war is over, everything is fine, people are enjoying in Prater, you know, having fun. So let's go on and from that. It's very difficult because you are supposed to do something. He writes very clearly, and it's difficult to do with all the notes. But as much as you can try to do, can you start straight from? Bam. First two movements, we have a lot of hesitations, and this and this is now very clearly. And, and of, now we have from C, C is in F minor, so we go very straight. So now we every every hesitation, all the doubts are gone, as you do. Uh, it's very fine. Let's go to the end because we have. Uh, uh, let's let's start a little bit from here. The, of course, here here is a little bit and play the. Quarter note, a little bit longer than the eighth note, and very poetically. Very exciting here, and then same pianissimo. 
Ma molto. Now we are in it's a, again a B des A and with the A flat major in, when we go, come back to the main theme. So that's that's very interesting that he uses and give it time to read the modulations to G G major to C C major and then before, before you go to that, because you, you need a little bit coloring in that spot. But otherwise it's very, very fine. So we don't need to, maybe we can go straight to the end. And now you know this what from beginning. C flat, B, good composer. <laughs> so let's go from there where it starts. If you can play the very ending because the things are very similar. Maybe from there. It's very fine, maybe not, not too much dragging. Not, not maybe too much uh, sostenuto, but still going. And this is your high point. And in this, this spot, Beethoven writes espressivo. So that's the resolution of the whole thing. Starting from there. Let's go poco andante. difficult piece in many ways, not only to play, but to think of. So I hope I could somehow open it a little bit more mm. since we worked with this in a couple of our lessons before, but, but yeah. still these depths of the, especially the first and second movement, yeah. the finale is, is, is more or less easy, mm. musically speaking, mm. but the first two movements are, are mm. more tricky ones. So I guess for this time, yeah. I thank you. Thank you. We are ready. Thanks a lot.